dear students so let us see uh, what can we do in this topic now so first of all we are starting with the, the topic mechanics and um, our first understanding like that should be like uh, already uh, known to you like uh, let us see okay let me arrange these things accordingly <laughs> okay so first thing that we need to learn in this topic is like first of all like there is 2.1 2.2 2.3 2.4 these are the four topics that we are going to learn uh 2.1 is all about uh, motion so which you can still call it as kinematics point number 2 is about the forces and so this part is known as dynamics point uh, 2.3 is i think about uh, work energy yeah and point number 4 is about the momentum the momentum and the collisions and others so this is what is our syllabus and we would be learning about that but let us first jump into 2.1 which is motion and so this is a very simple motion like uh, first of all if i'm talking about uh, motion and i'm calling it kinematics so what is there is that we do not talk about the uh, forces that are involved there so we only consider the acceleration that yes acceleration is taking place the velocity initial velocity was 20 a uh, meter per second but now the final velocity is 80 meter per second so there is an acceleration but we do not talk about why the body is getting accelerated from where the acceleration is coming from where the forces are being applied and we do not talk about that we are only concerned with the acceleration so uh, first of all we must know what is uh, distance and the displacement of that is the first part so i would be very quick in this because that is very easy uh, nothing much to note so the first thing is like distance and displacement sorry for the bad handwriting because it's uh, winter season now in northern hemisphere <laughs> okay so what is distance so distance is basically the scalar quantity and it is the measurement of the distance that you have uh, traveled <clears throat> so if you going for like let us say 20 meters like this and 20 meters like this so the overall dis distance will be 20 plus 20 that is 40 okay that is the distance well the si unit for this is going to be meter no doubt about that and uh, distance can have uh, either zero as a value or it can have a positive value but it cannot have negative value so distance is like uh, the petrol or the gasoline that you are spending while you are driving your vehicle so when you are driving your vehicle like around like from the point a b and then you moving to the point c so the petrol that is spent it will be like either zero or the positive value no like it cannot be negative accordingly we can say that distance would be following these principles now what is displacement so displacement is a uh, first of all a vector quantity so it depends upon a direction what is a scalar and what is a vector we are like uh, we were supposed to learn it in the topic 1 by the way but i would be giving you a bit of a feel of what is a vector here also so vector is a physical quantity that has a direction what do you mean by this statement is that it is a physical quantity which depends upon the direction that you are using so if there is a different direction the formulas will be different the output of your equation will become different so that depends upon the direction and we will be doing this thing now let us see so let us say this is 20 and this is 20 and it is going from a b and c so this is the displacement so displacement is basically the shortest distance between the initial position and the final position so this is initial and this is final this is the shortest distance and because this angle is 90 degrees so we can apply the pythagoras theorem here so the answer will be 20 root 2 so this is going to be the displacement in this case clear so this is the uh, vector formation direction is also there so you can say that this angle is 45 degrees accordingly you can say obviously we are not using the simple maths in the vector so we are using vector maths here yes and the si unit for this uh, is again meter there is no difference there but this can have a negative value it can have a zero value 
it can also have a positive value by negative value what i mean is like because it is a vector quantity so all the directions have to be there and we have to assign some uh, values to them so we just assume that okay if this direction is positive this direction may be taken as negative but it is not always positive and negative like that there is a possibility that you can choose the opposite direction as positive and this direction as negative no problem at all this is just a sign convention which will move according to your wishes usually we choose this but you can even go for this if you are willing okay so this is about the distance and the displacement so uh, there are uh, there is a possibility that you would be getting one single question from uh, in paper one uh, from this topic uh, let us say like this so there is a body which is going from the point a to b the radius of this is let us say two meters and so it is going like this so you want to comment on the distance and you want to comment on the displacement i'm taking a very simple example here uh, because otherwise like you can go for other questions later so the displacement from a to b will be the shortest distance so that will be this so this is going to be the diameter so that will become 2 into r so it will be 4 meter because the radius is 2 and the displacement will be this length so it is the half of the circumference circumference is 2 pi r r is again 2 so it will become 2 pi isn't it from the mathematical calculation so 2 pi meters will be the displacement so pi is nearly 3 and so it can be written as 6.2 meters so this is 4 meter this is 6.2 meters so this is how we find the distance and displacement i think things should be very clear to you nothing much to note here <clears throat> you people can take the screenshots by yourself now yes this is the time and um, you people can stop yourself here and you can note these things also okay after that i will not be stopping myself now i would be i will keep on moving uh, you people can pause the video whenever you want so the very next concept is a similar concept and a similar concept is of speed and velocity now what is this very quickly speed is just it is defined as the rate of change of distance <clears throat> and the velocity is the rate of change of displacement speed is a scalar quantity just like distance and velocity is a vector quantity just like displacement and the si unit i'm going to write here the si unit is meter per second in both of the cases now again it can only have the value either zero or positive <clears throat> this is going to have negative zero or the positive value so very similar to what we have done earlier but there is a bit uh, more complexity in this topic i'm going into that now okay so there is a concept of the average speed now so what is that now average speed is defined as the total distance divided by total time accordingly you would be defining the average velocity also but uh, we will not be doing the theory part for that because that is quite similar to what we are going to do for the speed but if we would be having a numerical we will just put our values here <clears throat> like this is total displacement divided by total time <clears throat> sorry for the bad throat and you know because of the cold so this is the average speed like total distance by total time and it is written as delta s divided by delta t be very particular about this delta what do you mean by delta delta means change but when this change is a bigger quantity like you're talking about 10 kilometer like it's a big considerable amount at that time we use delta okay now this is the average speed but there is another speed which is known as instantaneous speed uh, <clears throat> just a moment
instantaneous speed so now what is happening so instantaneous speed is like your speed at which your vehicle is moving but at that very instant like for example you're going from one point to another you're going from your home to mcdonald's and so average speed is like what is the total distance that you have traveled divided by total time and the instantaneous speed is when i'm just calling you on the phone and i just ask you like what is the speed at which your vehicle is moving now that is called the instantaneous speed and now how to write all these things uh, mathematically so mathematically we are taking the limit here so in maths we have done limits isn't it maths a a h l so limit delta t tending to zero for delta s divided by delta t which will become equal to ds divided by dt so ds divided by dt is the formula again now i am going to introduce you with the d if you don't know what it is again d is also referring to the difference that is the gap but this distance is really very small like you're talking about a very small gap in time which is tending to zero like you're talking about milliseconds there so your duration earlier your duration was like five hours when you were finding the average velocity or average speed you were talking about five hours or two hours but now you're talking about milliseconds so it's a very small time period so that is why we are now we will write it as d when you write it as d it becomes calculus and you talk about the differentiation which you have learned in maths a a h l again so it is the same thing the slope of the dis distance time graph or the displacement time graph yes okay so this is the instantaneous speed now i have explained you what it is average velocity and instantaneous velocity can be populated later whenever it will be required in our numerical so i'm not doing it now so you people can note this thing now so this is everything about the average speed and average velocity okay so i'm getting rid of this now so now another concept is okay let me see what is uh, the time that we have spent oh it's it has been 12 minutes okay no problem uh, three more minutes we will be talking about the acceleration and then we will uh, give rest to the video so now we're talking about another thing which is acceleration this is a very important concept now so acceleration first of all it is a vector quantity and no corresponding scalar quantity is defined there is no corresponding scalar quantities because earlier it was distance displacement speed velocity but now there is only acceleration and so we are only and only talking about vectors now scalar we do not have the concept in the scalars so acceleration is defined as rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity so this is written like this and there is a vector sign also on the top of it you people can eliminate that like you people can work without that also because vectors are not that emphasized in ib physics so no problem you can get rid of that arrow but this is the better method of writing so when i'm using delta i have to write average here and if i'm using d dv divided by dt so i would be talking about the instantaneous acceleration so now you are already having an idea about what is average and what is instantaneous value so this is how we do it again we are going to relate the slope of uh, velocity time graph with the acceleration uh, through this uh, formulation okay so this is the acceleration uh, for the average time like let us say you were moving with the velocity u and now the velocity is v and the time taken is t so we would be using this formula to find the acceleration uh, nothing much to note in this so in the next video we would be talking about uh, the uniform motion and the uniformly accelerated motion and we would be talking about the suart equations uh, in the next video okay then dear students uh, all the best so this is it i would be closing this video now but you can still move to the next video there will be no problem at all all the best